Clean gloves are easily the most utilized form of PPE. They should be worn by healthcare workers any time they enter a room. As with all PPE, the purpose is to protect from contamination of infectious agents you may come into contact with. And in order to ensure the best protection possible from this equipment, it is important that they are donned and doffed, or applied and removed, in the correct manner. This video will demonstrate the appropriate application and removal of clean gloves. We will utilize black light and fluorescence to represent infectious agents in an attempt to visualize potential errors and the importance of proper technique. Gloves should always be worn when in contact with a patient. Before donning gloves, always wash or disinfect your hands, which you should be doing any time you walk into a room. You don't want to risk contaminating the box or other gloves if your hands are already carrying contaminants. When donning clean gloves, there isn't much to the technique. Clean gloves are not meant to be sterile. They protect the wearer from contaminating their hands. When the hands are clean and the gloves are clean, simply put on the gloves. After you've finished with whatever work had to be done, the outside of the gloves will be contaminated. Throughout this video, contamination will be shown under black light and will be represented by the fluorescent solution you can see here on these contaminated gloves. You need to remove or doff the gloves, but if you aren't careful, you could still contaminate your hands, arms, or clothing with whatever it is that's now on the gloves. In this example, the gloves are quickly ripped off from the first hand, which causes the contaminant to be flung from the gloves and come to rest on the table. And because the second glove is then removed by the ungloved hand grasping from the outer surface of the glove, contaminant is spread to the fingers and palm and wrist of the first hand. These issues can be avoided by utilizing proper technique, and just being a little bit more careful. In an incorrect technique seen here, to remove the first glove, the wearer grasps the glove from the cuff over the wrist, and in doing so, contaminates the skin on her wrist. The correct method for removing the first glove is to grasp by pinching the glove at the palm, so your gloved hand will not come into contact with any skin or clothing. The contaminated surface of one hand will only contact the already contaminated surface of the other hand. Then gently pull the glove off the hand, turning the glove inside out in the process. This will minimize the flinging of contaminant we saw with the incorrect method. Next, gather the doffed glove in the fist of the still gloved hand. In the incorrect example, we saw the wearer remove the second glove by attempting to grasp the contaminated outside surface of the second glove with her ungloved hand, and in the process significantly contaminated her bare hand. The correct method that would avoid this issue is to use your thumb or finger and slide it up your wrist under the glove's cuff. Be careful only to touch the inside of the glove with your hand, not the contaminated outer surface. Your uncontaminated finger should only touch the uncontaminated inner surface of the glove. Then, gently peel the glove off of the hand, turning the glove inside out in the process. By removing in this method, you have contained the first glove inside the second, and the only exposed surface of either of the gloves is the uncontaminated inner surface of the second glove. You can now handle this glove with minimal risk of contamination and dispose of it in the garbage. When doffed properly, you will be able to avoid contaminating your hands with anything present on the outer surface of the gloves. But even when doffed perfectly, you should always be washing or disinfecting your hands following the removal of gloves. By donning and doffing gloves appropriately, you can ensure you have provided yourself with the best protection possible from this PPE.